Fly Eagles fly, and there you have it. The Philadelphia Eagles have now signed fourth-round draft pick Keely Ringo, and everybody is in the fold for training camp. Now, Keely Ringo, not your average fourth-round draft pick, five-star cat coming out of the two-time defending national champion University of Georgia program. The guy can absolutely fly. He is an athletic marvel who definitely has some things to work on from a technique standpoint. But all the tools are there. That man definitely landed in the right place if he wants to show why he may be the best value pick in the entire draft. You see him in pretty much zone with man principles, but you'll get a fade here. They'll switch release this into a fade for Kayshawn Butte. And he does a good job using his size there. You see him peek in and then reverse that there. Does a good job of bodying up with Kayshawn Butte. And then he gets to use his length and his jumping ability there to deflect the pass. All right, he plays this particular route here to perfection. Now remember, this is the route that he excels with for the most part. You, you would believe when it's like, this type of situation where it's not too far you could go because you're by the end zone. So we've seen him before, but this is right up in the hip pocket here. He turned to locate right when Brian Thomas turned to locate and he, he's able to get up for the downstroke here. Although he doesn't actually touch this pass. If you, if you're looking right here, he doesn't touch it. Thomas tries to go with one hand. I'm not sure why he only went up with one hand there. Maybe, Ringo had him pinned in too much. But like I said before, if that's a CJ Stroud throwing to a Marvin Harrison or a Mecca Book or something like that, maybe it's different here. But look, Thomas running, not using his hands. He's just trying to position or something like that. He needed to have gotten his hand free, right? Gotten his hand over the top so he could have jumped with two hands there. But he tries to go up and make a spectacular catch. So I would say Ringo's positioning made it to where – he couldn't really get that other hand involved. So that's a good rep. All right, so check out this rep right here. Your man into the boundary here, right? Vertical route, he should excel on these. And you can see him panic at the moment of truth. And look at that. Pass and a fear right there. He got my man Chris Smith right here. Extremely aggravated. He's like, come on, Keely. You are definitely more talented than that. All right, here we see, despite the coverage, right? You get that single high shell, right? You got to run it with a post safety. Uh, he's balanced. So in doing that, he should be able to open up his hips, right? And being able to first get in phase, right? You want to make sure that you're in phase, right? He already starts looking when the man starts looking. In a way, I wonder if Coach Desai coaches that up out of him because he seems to lose... I don't know, concentration or something. When the ball's in the air, he's doing everything to me perfectly right here, right? You got the feel and lean technique, right? You're doing a chicken fighting stage with the hands and all that right there. But look, it looks like he loses track of the ball or something because then he panics and turns his head back around and starts to try to recover. And he's got a little bit of early pandemic separation going on when he was already in phase, right? He was in the hip pocket. And now he just has to run and catch up, and he's running like Forrest Gump. He's just running straight ahead, right? And my man has to slow down for the underthrown pass by Hendon Hooker, and he ends up passing the fan. He just got to stay in that hip pocket and try to look at the moment of truth scenario. Maybe he has to be taught a little bit different. Coach Desai is that guy to teach him. So I wonder if that comes to fruition right there for him, the way he gets a little bit better tracking the ball in flight. What more can I say? Top billing. Top.